Hello Brewtubers and welcome. Um, first Homebrew Wednesday video I've done in a little while. Um, going to be a little update video as well. So quite a lot been happening since um, I last did one of these. Um, in the brew shed itself, not a huge amount has changed. Um, it's been a tip. Um, so I'm tidying it up slowly and surely. Um, yeah, got quite out of hand really, quite quite bad. Um, so yes, it's, it's getting tidied now, so that's good. Kesa, on tap one I've got my bitter, which um, was supposed to be an IPA but didn't really work out um, very well as an IPA, so it's been reclassified a bitter. Um, that was supposed to be my attempt at cloning. Um, what was it called? Rebellion IPA, but that didn't work out so well. So that's um, in tap one. It was quite horrible and murky when I first um, put it put it on, but now two three weeks later, it's cleared up quite wonderfully. It um, it looks very good indeed. So quite happy with with that. Um, the beer line is frozen at the moment um, because on tap two, I've just put my lager on my Bohemian lager and uh, so that's conditioning for a couple of weeks at three degrees celsius in the keys there um so yeah i think the beer lines are frozen oh well tap three is the limoncello wheat beer um which i need to get round to doing a video of very unusual beer very unusual indeed it's good though very good i've um, got a couple of beer mails to send out of that one as well uh, which i must get round to soon and tap four is the mild, which I've um, got a bit fed up of, really. Um, sort of half thinking about chucking it. Um, but yeah, that's on tap four. So yeah, that's the keyser. Uh, also, just tidying up. Uh, next brews, I've got a little list of things to do. So today was Tidy Shed, which I've half done. And Homebrew Wednesday video, which I'm doing. Um, Tomorrow and Friday, um, I want to get around to bottling my Belgian um, double. Um, again, that's been in a fermentation vessel for far too long. So it's about time that got kegged up, oh, kegged up, bottled up. Um, Saturday, I'm going to be brewing London Pride from the Graham Wheeler book uh, for a party in a couple of weeks' time. Sunday, I hope to brew the Patters beer from the Bible. And Monday, hoping to brew Courage Directors, um, again from the Graham Wheeler book. So, uh, yeah, just trying to do a couple of sort of traditional British beers and a bit of a exciting Belgian beer as well. So, um, yeah, that's the Bank Holiday Brews planned. A lot of brewing. I've missed it so much, though. I've been craving brews and um, craving brewing. But, uh, yes... Um, not much else to say about that. Um, I think it's time to have a look outside at what's happening out there. There's some interesting things going on. So, there is the brew shed that we all know and love. And if we go over here, past the Fuggle hop strings, we have the second shed, the storage shed. Um, so pretty much the second shed is where all the the crap, the empty bottles, the full bottles, the fermentation vessels, all those bulky things which get in the way will go in the old storage shed over there to uh, free up some space in the brew shed. And in between the garage and the brew shed we have some strings and wires, which you can see there. And I've got my um, hop plant going up there. That's a fuggle hop. We'll go take a look at it with a, amongst the lovely bluebells. So you can see there, going up the string. It's doing very nicely indeed. Very nicely. So it's a fair few inches tall. And then also got strings. You got some wires up there as well. So uh, all very good. And then there's a storage shed. Ooh. So not very big but and said it's just to, to store stuff, so fermentation buckets, and then that's 180 pounds worth of bottles I 
brought online in a drunken craze. All different sort of things, which I might review a few. So that's that, and um, we'll look at the other bit in a minute. Right, so here is the second hot plant. This is um, Bramling, Bramling Cross, the other one Fuggles. As I say, it's uh, not doing quite as well as the other one, but I don't know, they're about the same. So that's growing up there. And again, we've got strings, and we've got the um, uh, supports there as well. So, yep, yeah, Fuggles and Bramling Cross. This one is Bramling Cross. So that's the update there. Um, hot plants growing very well. Um, certainly up by a couple of inches, which is good. And uh, yes, yeah, second shed to store all the crap in. Um, which will be good. Try and clear some space in here to make this a nicer drinking and brewing space. So yes, it's all, all going quite well, really. Just need to brew. Um, Yes, yeah, got far too many empty beers. We've got a lot of beers which are, well, quite crap to be honest and need to be gotten rid of. I've got about two crates of... Uh, bugger, I missed. got two crates of um, an Easter stout I did from a brew dog kit. It's not good. So um, I'll chuck that. Use the, uh, the small bottles for the Belgian double, I think. That sounds a good idea, if ever I heard one. And then yeah, just a matter of tidying up the rest of the shed. That's what I'll carry on doing this weekend. Brew that Belgian, uh, bottle that Belgian beer and um, move stuff into the storage shed and brew. So yeah, busy times ahead. That's what bank holidays are for. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry Janice couldn't be with me today. Um, she's um, at home having her nails manicured at her home um, so uh, yes hopefully she shall appear um, in future videos because I know how much you all loved her anyway so from me Peter and the amazing absent Janice um, it's uh, goodbye and farewell Alvida Zane <laughs>